Jesus Christ, who was brought back from among the dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ was brought back again to us from among the dead. To drive this point to you, one interesting thing concerning Jesus Christ is that he, is, he supersedes others. He supersedes other gods. Why? He is the only one who died and rise again. Other people have died and they have never rise again. But Jesus Christ died and he rose and we can say he resurrected. Two. He is the living and he is in control. He died. He rose again. He is living today and he is in control. The Bible says he is seated at the right hand of God praying for us. He is seated. He is living. He is no more dead. We are not worshipping the God that is among the dead. We are worshipping Jesus who lives forevermore. We are worshipping God who lives forevermore, who have never tasted death. Even though he gave out Jesus and died for three days, but he rose again. And so, Jesus Christ supersedes all other. Hebrews chapter 13, 20 and verse 21. Hebrews 13, verse 20 and verse 21. I'm reading from Amplified Version, my sister, my brother. I have read this scripture separately, but allow me to read it again to you. Now, may the God of peace, who is the hour and the giver of peace, who brought among, who brought again from among the dead, our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood that sealed, ratified the everlasting agreement, covenant, testament. God brought Jesus again from among the dead. What does that mean? That means to rise again from the dead. That means to be resurrected. Let me read Matthew 28 verse 7 in NIV fashion. Then go quickly and tell his disciple he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. Jesus risen from the dead. But many did not believe that Jesus Christ would rise again from the dead. But woe unto them. For God had planned to resurrect him again. In which he did. Many did not believe that Jesus will rise again. Woe unto them. For God resurrected him. For God caused him to rise again. For what God says, no one can nullify. They even went ahead to bribe the soldiers who guarded his grave to say that he did not rise again, but his disciple stole his body. Because they did not believe that Jesus Christ would rise again, they bribed the soldiers. Let me read Matthew 28, verse 12 and 13. I love this scripture so much. When the chief priests had met with the elders and devised a plan, they gave the soldiers a large sum of money. If this report gets to the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of the trouble. They bribed. They wanted men and women not to know and realize that God already had risen, has resurrected Jesus again. Nandio, nina peta wimbo kwa tunahua tunahimba na kiswa hini wali kwa kuhua Yesu 
Walitani wameshinda kumbe hawakujua hawakujua Mungu ni nani. They did not recognize the God that we serve. They thought that because they have killed the son of God that he will not resurrect again. But who is God? We serve a living God. We serve a powerful God who is able to do things in the name of Jesus. Tumukumiei mechombe chena mwoyo Wela wakenyo watu ambara